Okay, let's spend two or three minutes here and let's talk about how to take this exam. How you take it is quite often just as important as the information you know. Here's the first thing. Make sure you arrive at that testing location early. For most people, that means 15 to 30 minutes. Don't rush across town if you're in a large city. Don't rush across town like a maniac gesturing everybody between you and the testing center and then run up five flights of stairs because the elevator's packed and then dash into that testing room out of breath and frustrated and nervous. Get there early. Refresh your mind on any material that you may have memorized, anything you're trying to commit to memory. And then when you get taken into the testing room, You'll sit down at a computer and it's going to ask you, usually it's your social security number. They may give you a special number, but don't enter that requested information right away. Sit there a minute. You're in a new environment. Get acclimated to the room. Listen to the noises. Some of these testing centers, you're in a room by yourself. I've been in testing centers where you're in a room with 15 other people. If the person next to you, if they put you right next to somebody, that person's loud. They're otherwise distracting. Ask for another seat if one is available. But you have to do this before you input your Social Security number or whatever and kick that exam off. Now, also, before you put any information into the computer and actually start the exam, write down any memorized material that you've been working on on that little notepad that they've provided for you before you begin the exam. You can't bring paper or notes or cell phones or anything in there but whatever you can haul in in your brain and reproduce is fair game. Write it down before you begin the exam. Then, when you finally enter your Social Security number or whatever number they give you to start that exam, guess what? The exam's not going to start. You're going to get a really irritating questionnaire most of the time from Microsoft. Once that's finished, the exam will begin. Now, here's what I want you to do. Read the first question slowly. You got that? Slowly and completely before you attempt to formulate a solution or a possible answer. There's misdirection in these questions, just like end users will do. End users will call, tell their life story, explain their computer's not working, it's making goofy sounds, and this and that. Then the last three, four words of this whole 15-minute description is, uh, I spilled a cup of coffee in it this morning. So read them slowly, read them completely. Now, don't be surprised if the first question that you read on this exam seems to be for some other course. You think, well, they've, they're giving me the wrong exam. I've never heard of this. I don't know what they're talking about. You're in the right place. Read the question two more times, very slowly and completely. And if you're not absolutely sure what the right answer is, mark that question as a skip, skip the question, and you can return to it later. Repeat this for as many questions as it takes until you get one that you know. And notice that's in all caps. You absolutely, no doubt, know the right answer. It may be seven or eight questions go by, and you'll be starting to think, yes, my mother-in-law was right all along. Nope, just keep on reading them. What's happening, you're nervous, all the brain connections aren't firing yet, just keep working through those questions. Keep moving through the entire exam in this manner. All right? You'll relax, and more information will make sense to you. Read a question slow and completely two or three times. If you don't know the answer, mark it, skip it, go on. The ones that you absolutely know, answer them and go on. Now, after two or three questions you get where you know the answer, something strange happens. You suddenly morph into Captain Windows Server, and any and all questions are easy uh, pray for you. And even you'll find some of the questions that you'll see later on will trigger some memories. They'll provide some tips and hints, and some of them will even directly answer some of the other questions. So if you're not sure, skip it. Now, when you reach the end of the questions, you've skipped some, you've answered some, go back through the list of skipped questions and do that exact same procedure and just keep going through. You're going to have a time limit. Usually it's 90 minutes, 80 minutes, 90 minutes, somewhere around there. Glance at that time. Do not frustrate over that time. Don't think about it. Trust me, you've got plenty of time to get through this. I've never been tight on time on an exam. 
if you're one of the rare people who do start to run out of time, you look up there, you got five minutes left, and you've you still got 12 questions that are skipped. Just go through there and answer C on all of them. You'll get one or two of them right, and it might just push you over the top. Okay, so anyway, that's how to take the exam. You want to get the stress out of it. Give yourself a chance to win, all right? Don't go in there nervous. Don't go in there and get frustrated because you don't know all the answers. You will not know all the answers to these questions, I promise you. So anyway, that's how to actually take this exam.